remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Brings up second and 10 at the 21 yard line. They'll run with Snell. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On third down, Archer. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They get six yards going for it on fourth, and now it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is out of bounds here. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley taking it in. The Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Chargers 28, 49ers nothing. Chris Boswell set to kick off. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Seven-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Vic on the bootleg. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Incomplete. It's third down. And seven yards to go. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. This will be the final play of the half. Vic, he sets to fire deep. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 16-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Now here's Snell. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. They're going to run again with Snell his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. He was well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Well, if this defense can hold them to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. Try and run for it. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Chris Boswell on for the point after. Oh, this is what I love about calling these games. Fourth and goal. This is all about leverage. Who wants it more? And who's going to get it done at the point of attack, the line of scrimmage? Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Chris Boswell set to kick off. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. A throw left side to start to drive is complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A gain of 11. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First down. From the gun, Vic. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. At the 31-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Vic. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Snell on the shotgun handoff. And he's tapping a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the interception by the Chargers, D, leads to a touchdown. 
So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, He's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. If you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. But no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Saquon Barkley, the ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Operating from the gun. Vic, flush to his right. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Ross on the play. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, and now Vic throwing another interception. Picked off by Ron Woodson. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They'll start by running the option to the right. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 22. Brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. On third down, Snell. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. And they'll try a jet sweep. It's Rager. Inside the five to the four. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. First and goal. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Two yards the gain on the keeper at its second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense column. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Third and goal, option right. In your face! And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their...